Right, so Joe Morley is going to attempt to describe and evaluate um, a current talent development program um, for passing and merit. Uh, so, Joe, what is your talent development program, Collins? Give me a brief, brief um, introduction. The long term athlete development. So, development for athletes to gain their maximum potential in sport, which they choose. Um, Scientists have said that important periods of their life is when they gain their maximum potential. So, they do it in certain ages. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, they also take anything from 8 to 12 years of training for an individual to achieve the highest level. Good. Right, so what are the different stages then? Um, phase 1 is fundamental. This is used for like boys aged from 6 to 9 and girls 5 to 8. Um, the objectives in that would be um, developing the athlete's potential and uh, fundamental movement skills. So the main things would be taking part in as many sports as possible. Yeah. Um, developing speed and power using fun games. Um, Getting correct techniques for running and jumping and stuff like that. Yeah. And introducing athletes to simple rules of sports. Right, yeah, good. So, can all these skills be like transferred <laughs> to other sports then? So, it's just like every sport. Oh, well, yeah, if you're doing like rugby, you could use that for like, American football mm -hmm. or other sports like that. Yeah, right, good. All right, phase two. Uh, so, learning to train, which is appropriate for boys aged 9 to 12 and girls 8 to 11. The main objective in this phase is to learn general overall sport skills. Continuing to develop strength, um, develop endurance with gains, um, get some flexibility exercises in. Yeah. And develop speed of activity during warm up. Yeah. So that would help in uh, rugby as well because always need more strength to play rugby. Yeah. And uh, good endurance and flexibility helps with uh, getting warm up. Right. So, yeah. So is this th is this still like general stuff or is it again is it or is it very sport specific? At this still usual. General, yeah, 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 because it's, it's still very general sort of yeah. like skills that can be transferred. Right, yeah, phase three. Uh, train to train, so boys aged 12 to 16 and girls 11 to 15. Yeah. The main objective in this phase is to develop athletes' capacities and movement skills. These will help with the beginning of making a basic rugby player by improving their main points, which would be um, developing speed, learning correct techniques for weightlifting, develop knowledge of stretching and uh, Strength training for boys usually begins 12 months after the peak high velocity. Right, yeah, so you, you mentioned peak high velocity there, then. So, so what is that and how does that apply to um, That's just like to this? the child's development is when they reach their maximum growth rate. So that's the peak high velocity. Average age for it is um, 12 for girls and 14 for boys. And then the peak weight velocity usually follows after that. Yeah, so, so so why is that important for this stage then if they're if they're in the mm, the high growth stage or high well, peak they're stage? Start doing weight training and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 it could be. Um not gonna affect the growth if they're doing it too early. So right. it's been at the right times. Right, okay, what about um how are they gonna are they gonna improve quite a lot at this stage and their physical abilities? Um they start to do it there but not develop it too much, I don't think. Alright. Right, um that like phase four? Um, training to compete. Yeah. This is for boys aged 16 to 18 and girls 15 to 17. Yeah. The main objective in this phase is optimising fitness and making it more sport specific. All right. This would improve the player's specific skills, making them an all round better performer. And the main points would be um, developing technical and tactical skills and improving fitness. Um, getting to ready for competitions and doing specific training. Learn to perform sport skills under competitive conditions. And then optimum preparation using modelling training. Alright, good. So yeah, so you're training them to be able to like playing a game then, so yeah. So why would they start using tactics at this age then rather than younger? Oh, because you won't really understand it when you're younger, so it's better to do it when you're a bit older. Yeah, 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 good. Um so then in the final stage? Um, phase five, training to win. This is boys over eighteen and girls over seventeen. Uh, this is the main when you just like Maximising your fitness preparations and sports specific skills even more, as well as your performance. Uh, it would help realize, players realise what tactics are better in certain games and have a massive effect on winning the games. The main points would be athletes' physical, technical, and tactical capacity now fully established, and uh, training is now maximising uh, performance. Athletes will train to peak for competition, mm -hmm, yeah. and training is more high intensity and high volume with breaks to prevent overtraining. Oh yeah, good. So have you, have you sort of like linked this to any sport or can you think about how a sport might use it? Uh, well, if you were a, sp a sprinter you could um, get ready for Olympics probably. Yeah, 
that's what it is, yeah, yeah, could be, could be like, yeah, could be that. Could uh, practice more for when Olympics come around, or if you're going for World Cup, you might train in different conditions. Right, yeah, yeah, playing. good. Right, what about strengths and weaknesses then? Um, funding comes from governing bodies for strength. Um, making sports fun will make people want to play it more. Yeah. And each stage is age specific, which would help you feel more comfortable when you're playing. Yeah, yeah. So why is it also a good thing that the skills are transferable then? Because, because you can play in different sports and get to a good level at different sports, really. Yeah, so it gives them a good base to go yeah. from, like, yeah, rather than just doing football, yeah, they've got that different football. skills, they can go into cricket or whatever. Yeah. Right, uh, yeah, so what about weaknesses then? Um, Travelling to and from places where they have to train and stuff like that. Um, it could have cost of travel and equipment you might need, would be another weakness. And then some coaches might not be as good as the other coaches you Yeah, so like, expand on that a little bit more. So, what, so it's obviously quite a big development programme. Do you reckon coaches have got enough knowledge to be able to coach at different stages? Yeah, but like when you get your link with a coach and you change your coach all the time, you might lose a bit of confidence. Yeah, so, yeah, could be, could be. So you think coaches know, like, could, could coach in the fundamentals in one session and then go straight to coaching, like, an elite level training to win quite easily? No. Yeah. Big difference, yeah. Yeah, there's a big difference, so quite a lot of, like, funding off to go into coaching and things like that. Yeah. Um, right, anything else? Uh, no, that's it, I think. Yeah.